first of all, Andrew Tate. I love that man. But realness, I'm so sick of like this planet. Like <laughs> these big wig people, these people who create these companies, their mind is so dark, so negative, so toxic that they truly believe. That they can just imprison people and nothing's going to happen. Just because it's been decades and decades and decades and God has not done nothing and God is just allowing things to get worse. Baby, one thing about the creator, God is going to allow y'all to diminish your own selves. God is going to continue to allow y'all to think that y'all are so important that you're just taking away people's lives because they're hurting your emotions or they're hurting your company. Baby, the day that y'all die, the day that your children get cancer, the day that like y'all be getting in these car accidents and as these big celebrities and then y'all wonder why. Y'all are toxic as fuck. Well. All of these black people that are trying so hard to reach into this dark world of the entertainment industry just shows how ungodly y'all are. If you have any type of need or desire to be a part of the entertainment industry, baby, you're not really seeing what is going on. You either have to be pleasing to them or you have to deny yourself. Anybody who stand tall in themselves, Anybody who has a message that they are wrong and that they're doing wrong, y'all don't realize that they try to take away their life. And these people in America say, oh, well, no, he did something wrong. Haven't y'all realized the only people that get their lives taken away from them is the individuals who speak against the American way, who speaks against any other country's way of living. I thought American people were so smart. It seems like y'all are very much robots. Like I said, Andrew Tate, I love you. <laughs> and I want him free. He did nothing wrong. It is just that the people in America are very much emotional. And anytime you don't be a peasant, anytime you be a man, anytime you're trying to get men to change and awaken to their power, the people of this country are so emotional, so unstable, that they get scared that you're going to wake people up in our, and the American people are going to come together and you're not going to be able to take advantage of them no more. So for me to prevent that, let me lie and imprison you because I'm an emotional man who can't handle his feelings. <laughs>